And with our Pro line, Surface Pro in particular, the focus was on creating a tablet that could replace the laptop. We've had some really nice successes with Surface Pro, but the things that have inspired us the most are what people have been able to do with a tablet that could replace a laptop. They appreciated the power of a full PC in the form factor of a tablet. The first thing that you'll notice about Surface Pro 3 is how incredibly thin that it is. It's worth pointing out, this is a full PC, an incredibly powerful PC, all in only 9.1 millimeters thin. Surface Pro 3's screen is 12 inches diagonally. This is a three by two aspect ratio, 2160 by 1440. It is full HD with clear type technology that makes the whites whiter, the blacks blacker, and makes it very comfortable to view for hours. Now often, when a computer becomes bigger, it means it also becomes heavier. This is not the case with Surface Pro 3. It weighs in at a mere 800 grams. And again, all of this with an incredibly powerful PC. But I said earlier, we built this incredibly beautiful tablet to be something that could also replace the laptop. So let me show you two things that we did that made it even better than any surface we built before at replacing the laptop. Uh, the kickstand allows me to set it in my lap and be able to work perfectly or put it on a table and view a movie, anything hands-free. With Surface 2, we introduced a second stop in the kickstand that was particularly good for your lap and for leaning into your computer. But customers told us they wanted even more positions for the kickstand, and so we gave them every single one they could want. So with Surface Pro 3, I have a full friction kickstand that allows me to place the device in any position that I want, all the way down to a canvas mode. All of this is done with a great feel and the same great sound of closing your surface. Of every keyboard we had ever made, thin, light, great typing, and backlighting when plugged into the surface, we made it even better with a 63% larger trackpad that is incredibly fluid and works beautifully, but we also made it work even better in your lap. And you can see that um, it works great in my lap, but there's a little bit of twist that can happen in terms of how it connects to the device. So we added a very simple feature that is quite powerful, which is the ability to click the keyboard into the device again. And now it is connected to the device and incredibly stable, in addition to a more natural typing angle for your hands. In addition to the great kickstand and the keyboard, we of course have USB port and mini display out um, so that you can use it like a laptop. And we have a brand new Surface docking station coming out for Surface Pro 3. The docking station has five USB ports, including three USB 3.0. It has gigabit ethernet, of course power and sound. Here you can see so you can see here that I have all of Office running on this PC and any application that I can run on a desktop, I can run on a Surface Pro 3. So for doctors, this means electronic medical record applications that have been built over the years for Windows. Or for architects and structural engineers and mechanical engineers, I can run my CAD applications on this device. And while Surface Pro 2 was powerful, Surface Pro 3 is even faster and will also be available with a Core i7 processor. So for instance, here I'm running a architecture and CAD app called Revit from Autodesk. You can see that I'm using a mouse. I can scroll in using the mouse. I can do anything that I want to be able to do on this device, whether it's docked and being used like a laptop, 
or if I'm holding it in my hand as a tablet. We've learned a lot from our customers about they, what, what they want to work beautifully on Surface Pro 3. And one of the things that we've heard the most about is people using Adobe Photoshop on our Surface Pros. Um, so I'm going to now undock my Surface Pro 3 and show you a upcoming release of Photoshop that is being built to specifically take advantage of the power, portability, touch, and pen of the Surface Pro 3. So for instance here, I have an incredibly high resolution photo open in Photoshop. With just two fingers, I can zoom in to anywhere in the photo. I can rotate to get to just the part that I want. I can use my pen to touch up the photo to do any processing that I want. And it's very easy to navigate, for instance, to get right back out to the full picture. This is the kind of thing that is enabled with an incredibly powerful device that is also beautiful, beautiful and portable. We're very proud that we built a tablet that can replace your laptop. But we're not stopping there because we also know that there's a very important productivity device called a pad of paper and pen. We've set out to take the very best of each and bring them into Surface as well. Let's start with the pen. The Surface pen is a pen. It's not a cheap piece of plastic. It's not a stylus designed to fit into a tiny hole. Pens are the size that they are, the weight that they are, because we've grown to love writing with them. The pen can be used for many things. For instance, when I get on an airplane, one of the first things that I do is I open the airplane magazine and try and do the Sudoku before the flight takes off. So for instance, I can put my hand on the screen, it won't move around, and write a number in. You'll see many other applications that start to take advantage of the pen. But like I said, we also wanted to replace the pad of paper, is that every one of us knows you can just pull it out, click your pen, and start writing. We wanted to make it just that simple with a Surface Pro as well. And so here I am, I'm on my start screen, and I'm gonna put this device to sleep. What happens when I put the cover on and place it in my bag? Just this morning I was having breakfast with Rowan, and he had some great ideas that I wanted to capture, so I reached into my bag, and pulled out my Surface Pen. Just like with a pad of paper, all I have to do is click the pen and start writing. So watch what happens when I click the pen. Just like with a pad of paper, I don't have to be afraid to put my hand on the screen and I can start to write very comfortably. With just another click of the button, I get a fresh new page and that's saved into my cloud storage with OneDrive. The other place that I take notes a lot is when I rip out magazine articles or rip out newspaper articles and wanna take notes for other people. I'm not able to do that though when I find things on web pages unless I have a Surface Pro 3. So for instance, here I am on the Surface web page. I can scroll around and let's say I really like this picture and how that treatment works and I want to tell my team. All I have to do this time is I'm gonna click the button twice. What this will do is it recognizes that I want to capture something from the page that I was on. And so for instance, now I can take my pen and select everything that I want. And when I let go, it takes it right into my notes. And so then I can write on it and then share my notes or file it away for my own use. We're very proud of what we've built. Some, a tablet that can replace the laptop and be the best writing and drawing experience on the planet. And we think it's important to compare the Surface Pro 3 with one of the devices that many other people will be considering. Um, so we have a scale over here. I'm comparing with a MacBook Pro here. This is also true with a MacBook Air 13 inch. So first I'm gonna place a Surface Pro 3 with its typing cover onto this scale. And now I'm going to place a MacBook onto the scale. Put the charger for my Surface Pro 3 
and the pen for my Surface Pro 3 and my snack for the afternoon on the Surface Pro 3. I can't wait for you to try the Surface Pro 3s out here and we can't wait to make them available here in Taiwan. Thank you very much. Shishay.